Hi everyone, meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. It's uh, Sunday morning, uh, almost 10 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, we are uh, coming up to um, 15 Z Greenwich time, actually 14 Z Greenwich time, which is uh, 10 o'clock. 15 Z is um, 11 o'clock Eastern. Um, now I'm getting all wrapped up in, in, in clock stuff. Okay, let's, let's move on. Uh, you know what time it is where you are, where you're watching. Uh, we have, uh, of course, uh, the latest on Hurricane Ophelia, uh, which is now racing to the northeast at about uh, 35 miles an hour with top winds of 105 miles an hour. It's beginning the process of becoming a post-tropical or extra-tropical storm, but uh, nonetheless, that really is more the meteorological technical designation, which is not something that we should be focusing on. The bottom line is that uh, this is going to be a very powerful uh, cyclone when it moves over Ireland on Monday uh, between um, 6 a.m. and noon Ireland time. Um, so uh, th this is when I would expect to see uh, sustained winds of uh, 50 knots or higher right along the immediate south coast of Ireland. And I am pretty confident that there are going to be some gusts to hurricane force uh, during uh, the, the, this event uh, along and to the uh, east of the low track, which we'll get into in our uh, the weather video portion of this in just a second. As far as rain is concerned, there is not going to be a lot of rain along and east of the track, uh, which means that um, in England, there will be very little in terms of rain out of this. Um, wind will be the issue east of the track. The rain issue will be along and north and uh, northwest of the track. So in northwestern Ireland and in uh, northern Scotland, uh, you are likely to see some uh, heavy rains uh, out of this on the order of 20 millimeters of rain or more. And in some cases, maybe uh, 40 millimeters of rain or more in some of the uh, higher terrain in Scotland. Um, and um, with respect to uh, the wind, the wind on the um, western side of the track will be uh, less. Uh, there's also going to be the component of motion to consider when it's moving at 40 miles an hour. So you have a sustained wind of 50 miles an hour uh, and it's moving at 40. If you're uh, east of the center, uh, you're going to see those gusts to 70, 80, 90, uh, 90 knots. I would not be at all surprised. So um, we're going to start rolling uh, with uh, the weather video portion here. And uh, this will get into some of the technical aspects of what is going on. And Once again, I want to welcome uh, all of you watching from uh, Ireland, England, and Scotland. Uh, the uh, UK are going to get impacted by Hurricane Ophelia, which you can see here on the satellite loop uh, from uh, today. The uh, hurricane is undergoing a process of transforming itself into a post-tropical or extra-tropical storm. Uh, the, the, what that means is it'll start to look more like a winter type cyclone than a, a tropical one, but uh, it is still going to be quite powerful. If you look at the geography here, Portugal is to the uh, east, the Azores are just to the west, and you'll notice that Ophelia is really racing along very rapidly at about 35 miles an hour. So landfall on the south coast of Ireland is going to happen during Monday morning uh, uh, Ireland time uh, as uh, Ophelia will bring, I believe, uh, wind gusts in excess of hurricane force along and east of the low track. Uh, there will not be all that much rain along, uh, east of the low track uh, on the order of maybe an inch or less. Uh, north and west of the, of the uh, track of the surface system, uh, we are going to see uh, perhaps uh, two, three, or four inches of rain. And I think that'll be confined mainly to the northwestern quarter of Ireland and, in for, and for Scotland. Uh, for much of England, there's not going to be that much rain at all. Uh, there will be some wind to deal with, but Ireland is going to be bearing the brunt of all this. Now, here's the wider satellite view, so you can get a, a, a look at how this, uh, the perspective with respect to the entire Atlantic and with uh, Western Europe. Ophelia is lifting up rapidly northeastward, and notice the change in the structure uh, since uh, 12 hours ago. It goes from a rather circular, uh, symmetric tropical system to this sort of elongated, stretched out uh, mass 
uh, that is uh, east of uh, Portugal. Now that is again part of that process of becoming um, post-tropical, where it's going to take a more of a comma shape uh, on the saddle on, on the on the satellite images. You'll see uh, it will still be it, it still is going to produce uh, some. Uh, rough weather no question about it this is going to be quite powerful as it moves on through now here we're going to look at the overnight weather models uh, first we'll start with the uh, gfs model uh, which is the north american model and uh, here is the wind field for ophelia at midnight tonight ireland time <clears throat> and uh, the purple area is sustained winds of 50 knots or higher what happens is as these systems become uh, post tropical they tend to the wind field tends to spread out it increases in, ge in in geography although the area of very very strong winds tends to lessen uh, here's the look at 6 a.m. Monday and here is what happens at noon when landfall is expected to occur so you have uh, along all of the south coast of Ireland uh, in that purple area the GFS forecasting 50 knots sustained winds are higher uh, gusts are going to be uh, in excess of hurricane force. I, I really have no doubt of that, particularly because of the fact that this thing is moving at such a rapid rate. You have to uh, also uh, take into account forward speed, uh, moving at about 35 or maybe by that time even 40 or 45 miles an hour. If you have a sustained wind of 50 on the east side of the low, you could add that component of motion uh, and you could easily see gusts up to 75, 85, uh, even 90 miles an hour. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see a few odd gusts at that, uh, of that uh, number. Uh, the center <clears throat> tracks just inland of the coast. So uh, the eastern part of Ireland gets the bulk of the wind. The western part, the northwestern part in particular, will get more of the rain. Uh, the gales will extend to the west shores of uh, England. Uh, but there won't be much rain there and also to the uh, western shores of Scotland and the low center is forecast to move right over northern Scotland and then turn uh, east northeastward over into Norway and Sweden. Uh, this is uh, not too uh, different from a track from uh, the historical storm uh, with the, the, that uh, stands out is Hurricane Debbie back in 1961 and oddly enough 61 had uh, holds the record for seven major hurricanes in that year. We're at six so far, so we would need one more major in order to get to seven. Uh, but uh, it, that, that's one of those odd coincidences that, that occur. I'm going to show you the Canadian model here uh, in terms of the wind field for Ophelia. Same idea. You get that comma-shaped look to it. Uh, the Canadian has the low center just maybe a shade further to the west. Uh, you know, by, by not that many miles, I don't think it'll be enough to make really that much of a difference uh, in, in terms of what the outcome is going to be, but it still has the same idea. The worst of the weather for Ireland will be Monday morning uh, into Monday afternoon. I would suspect the peak winds will be occurring from 6 a.m. Uh, Ireland time uh, to um, at least 2 or 3 p.m. So the good bulk of the daytime, day side tomorrow in Ireland is going to be uh, extremely windy. Uh, rainfall, when uh, we uh, take a look at the uh, total rainfall amounts, uh, starting with the Canadian model, again with the track, you'll see how the rain lines up with all this. Uh, you can uh, certainly just pick out where the track of this by just following where the heaviest rain is, and it's like this. This is going to be the track of the low center itself. So you go south and east, the rainfall amounts are generally under 15 millimeters. Uh, you go north and west of that, you're talking 20, 30, 40 millimeters of rain possible uh, in uh, less in about 24 hours time. Uh, 